name is Marie Corey, and this <coughs> is Imre Rosa. Imre is a student at St. Michael's College and the University of Toronto, and Imre has constructed this model of an early printing press as part of an independent study to examine uh, the problems of construction and also the functionality of the early printing press. Um, Imre, do you want to talk about some of the problems that you encountered in, the, in your research on this before you began constructing it? Well, um, there's not much information on the press. Uh, there's a lot of information um, after uh, 50 or 70 years from when Gutenberg uh, made his first printing press. Uh, Gutenberg is, uh, he may have made it around 1435 to 1450, and um, the earliest known pictorial uh, image of a printing press is uh, 1499. That's quite a big uh, jump. And prior to 1499, can't really find any uh, information, just uh, some mentions of what uh, it may have been. And um, a lot of people uh, believe that uh, he based it off of a uh, wine press, which was um, available uh, locally uh, in Mainz as well. And uh, I based my press on that principle because uh, starting from scratch, like, you know, this is like the first ever printing press, and uh, he might have, and he was limited on budget as well, so uh, he might have just gone with what was available and what the craftsman or the, uh, the workshop there was making already, which was uh, wine press, uh, paper press, uh, linen press, and uh, I based off of that. And obviously, uh, just with a slight modification to those, you can have a printing press, because they all use the same principle of um, moving a platen uh, down using a screw. So. Uh, with a small modification such as the, the bed and um, to and another modification to prevent the pattern from spinning, uh, he got his printing press. Uh, a little bit crude, but it still functions uh, more or less the same. Um, Do you want to talk about the screw? Yeah, the, the screw, which is the most important thing <laughs> for a press. Um, Basically, um, what they would have done and what I did was you start off with a wood. Uh, typically, it's um, either square or round, but a square would be better because uh, you know they would cut down a tree, which would be like this thick, and they would just cut out smaller slot, um, uh, pieces of wood, and they would have put it into a lathe, or they would have used. Um, either a free uh, flywheel uh, lathe or a spring lathe. It's like a medieval version, very crude, but it still gets the job done. And what it does, it makes the square parts round, it um, cuts away. And to do the threads, uh, that's a very tricky thing. Um, there are several ways of doing it. You can either uh, draw it on by hand using um, like a ruler with an angle and then sort of like rotating it a little bit and drawing a little line, rotating and drawing a little line and moving it all. But um, that's not uh, completely accurate. And um, from that they would have then just uh, used carpenter tools and just carve out like a groove. Uh, Do you want to explain why the screw turns the way it does? Oh, yeah. Um, normally, uh, the printer would stand on the opposite side because, you know, there was this thing about uh, being right-handed at that time and uh, left-handed is not really a good thing. So, but um, I am left-handed. <laughs> so, when I made the screw, I sort of made it according to my, uh, uh, my, uh, how you naturally would it? Yeah, and by the time I finished with the screw I and put everything together, I just noticed that it's going the other way. 
as a printer, if the printer is there pulling, the platen would just go up and you want to go down. So, anyways, for this demonstration, uh, I just left it as is. Right. <laughs> Again, usually it takes about two or three to get the ink settled on properly. But. but they wouldn't have wanted to waste too much paper because. It was expensive. It was expensive. And it still is. I mean, and even in the production of books today, paper is one of the most expensive components of So in our last demonstration, we had <clears throat> problems with this particular form um, where the type was not picking up the, uh, the ink as well. And uh, one of the things to compensate for that is doing what Emery has just done and putting a little strip of paper to provide more even pressure in that area. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's much better than before. Yeah. 